Okay guys, this is Cruise Roy. This is the battery that I just took the housing off of the cage, we'll call it, the battery cage and the head. <clears throat> um, I figured I'd show you the rest of the process here. I want to save the head. I'm going to test these. I mean, even though we can see these batteries are junk, the LiPos. And uh, just to say something, be very safe with these. You touch any positive or negative and it lasts longer than a few seconds. These things can explode and catch on fire. But while I got the multimeter here, I'm going to test it to the positive negative side of this battery. And if you notice, it's like 0.01 volts. There's nothing in here. This thing is dead. All right. So start with that. You don't have to start with it dead like the other one's got some voltage to it. I'm not going to drain it completely. But let's do the rest of the process. What you didn't see is I took off the metal. It's like a thin aluminum housing and it has this white electrical tape. Some of us use Kapton tape, but DJI uses this white. It's the same thing, the Kapton tape or this whatever. But that's where you come in with a couple of nice pair of tweezers and you peel that off. <clears throat> so you got that peeled off now. You can basically see what's going on in here. Um, so I can let you know one thing. The positive definitely has to come off. Um, the balance lead, you just disconnect it with the tweezers and then the negative side comes off. But there's one other thing that's hiding over here. Where are you? It's right here, and that's the thermostatic um, resistor they put here for the temperature. Um, so let me grab a pair of, uh, excuse me, a pair of tweezers here, and I'm just going to grab this gentle, and it's kind of glued in there. So try to get it out the best you can without wrecking it, because you can use it with your new battery set. But they use some kind of white silicone. It's probably a heat silicone. So, all right, that's the first thing you do. Get rid of that thermostat. Don't cut it off. I bought these heads off eBay because people are selling the heads and they cut this therm uh, thermistor off, we'll call it. And you can't just solder the wires together. It doesn't work. You have to buy a new one. And you can find them at some electrical stores on uh, online. Um, okay, so that the thermostat's out. We know these batteries are junk, but still be safe. Um, the thing I want to tell you about DJI batteries, this solder is like concrete, all right? It's kind of the hardest solder I ever came across. Um, so you need, this is a 60 watt, you can see it's smoldering there. I clean the tip the best I can, but she's smoldering because she's hot, all right? Now you don't want to leave a lot of heat on a LiPo too long, but you definitely want to heat it up enough so we can get it apart. You can also take all the cells off this pack if you want, but it's not really worth it. This pack's completely dead. So first, I'm gonna. Second of all, I'm gonna take the tweezers. I'm gonna try to take off the balance lead so I can save that. And the thing about playing with these batteries, some people think they can disconnect the balance lead, and the minute you do that. Like, there's no voltage in this battery anyways. Um, you set off a hardware error on the BMS board, and that's it. The BMS board is not fried. It just locks itself out. So some people think you can buy them. There's battery packs online by Hasselblad, I think it is, or whatever. You can buy them and put them on. You can. You can solder them right back in with it. The same way you took this apart, problem is the BMS is going to need to be reset. And that's this guy here if you don't realize it. Also, see that little white dot? Same as your phone. If you pick one of these up, that's why I'm not, I think this one's fine. That would be pink because it dipped in water. And that means that this is all water damage, but it's not. This is a bad charging system. I don't know if DJI charges cause this. But I see it every now and then, and I got some good chargers from my Inspired. I've never seen this happen. Always keep an eye on when you're charging. If this starts to happen, pull the battery. There's something wrong with it. Uh, is there something wrong with the BMS that caused this? I don't think so. I don't personally think so, but anyways. 
All right, so the thermist is off. That does the temperature for the, the BMS. We have the, the balance lead off. All right, now the data cables you don't have to touch. That's the red and yellow. And if you buy one of these batteries for a, um, the T47 and 48 S's, they're for a different drone, the M600 or something, you gotta change the data cables. You gotta swap them. It's the only difference between them and the head. It has a black head instead of a white head. But anyways, back to this. Like I said, two lousy wires you gotta get off of this. I would say put a little tension on it. DJI puts this blue goop on here. It's not on all the batteries, but it's on most of them. But if you can get this hot enough, I wetten that up a little bit with solder. Now this is a fresh pack. I never hit this. So I'll show you how long it takes to actually melt this. And there we go. And then boom. Just get the hell off of that. Let it smolder a while. Breathe in the fumes, man. It's all cool. Alright. So that one's off. And like I said, if you want, you can unsolder all these lipos. It's a son of a problem. Alright, so anyways, next one is the positive. Pull out this nice hot iron. Don't hit your fingers because this is very heavy. But watch how long it takes to heat this. You got to get through the goop and then bang. Breathe the fumes in. Now nah, don't listen to me, that's bad. Get a fume extractor. I have one around here somewhere. I'm not using it. But there it is. The head's completely removed. You got some screws in there. I'm going to tap into it later. Uh, the three ports right here. The SCL, it was SC, SCAL, SDA, and the ground is right here. You can see where my fat finger is. And I can plug them in and check the heads and make sure they're okay and reset the programming. I can also see how many times this battery was charged. This particular, the Inspire batteries don't need to have power to them to see the BMS, where sometimes the sparks and stuff do. So let me put that aside. And we can take a gander at what's going on here. I mean, this pack swelled so much because usually it's a pain to get these cells separated. But I think, if anything, there's only three cells, one, two, and three, that are any good on this pack. The rest of them all swelled. Some people will tell you, ah, poke a little hole, squeeze it down, reuse it. Ah, junk. But I mean, you can go along with a multimeter and test all of this, but I can guarantee you this one's dead. It's dead meat. All right. This is Cruz Roy. Be safe with this. I'm not even safe sometimes. And this is Cruz Roy, and I'm out of here.